Hi there, um, my name is Harold Nowak. Uh, I'm a retired meteorologist living in Melbourne, Australia, and the date today is the 7th of December 2019. Now the title of this video is uh, Collapse Conjecture, showing off the predicted immersion properties that arise from extending the 3n plus 1 sequence, putting the Collapse Conjecture to shame. Now, most of my life I've, I've used dynamical models to predict the weather. Um, here I am using a dynamical model of the 3n plus 1 sequence that I call, I call this, this model the NOAC sequence, um, to predict properties that should emerge when extending the 3n plus 1 sequence. Um, now, to generate the 3n plus 1 iterative sequence, denoted by S0, S1, S2, all the way to Sn, etc., where S0 is any integer uh, you use when Sn is even, Sn plus 1 equals Sn divided by 2, and when Sn is odd, Sn plus 1 equals 3Sn plus 1 divided by 2. Then, when S0 is greater than or equal to 1, the sequence goes to 1. Um, which is really the cycle, uh, the trivial cycle, one, two, one, two. Um, and this is the Collatz conjecture. Um, but also when S0 is less than one, the sequence goes to um, zero and minus one. They're both constants. Um, and um, minus five and minus 17, they're cycles. Now the relationship at the mod three level um, is, as shown there on the graphic, um, most of the things centre around uh, 2 mod 3, um, but uh, you can see the red arrows, what happens when um, things go up, and black arrows, what happens when things go down. Um, now, to generate the 3n plus 3 iterative sequence, denoted by v0, v1, v2, all the way out to vn, um, in this case, um, where v0 is any integer, uh, you use vn is equal to uh, uh, well, vn plus 1 equals vn divided by 2 for even numbers, and vn plus 1 equals 3vn plus 3 divided by 2 for odd numbers. Um, then, the, then when v0 is greater than or equal to 1, the sequence always goes to 3, or there's a cycle which is really the cycle 3636, um, uh, 3, this is the conjecture. Um, and when S0 is less than or equal to 0, um, the sequence goes to 0, minus 3, both constants, and um, minus 15, um, minus 51, they're the cycles. Now, whenever V0 is equal to 2 to the power of P, where P is an integer, um, the, a positive integer, then the 3n plus 3 sequence takes you to 1 and um, before rising again to 6 and then back to 3. So 3, 6, 3, 6. So that'll, that'll take you there. Um, so the sequence will always take you to a 0 mod 3 number. Usually that's by the second, first or second step. Um, so it's not inaccurate to take V0 to be a 0 mod 3 number and it still represents the whole of the 3n plus 3 sequence with every term being a 0 mod 3 number. So if we take as zero, uh, V0 uh, to be a 0 mod 3 number, we can let uh, Vn equal 3Wn, where Wn is any positive integer, um, and we put this into the values for Vn being odd and even, um, and that takes you to um, the 3n plus 1 sequence. Um, so therefore, the um, 3n plus 3 iterative sequence is equivalent to the 3n plus 1 sequence. Um, and the relationship that we have between mod 3 um, numbers is basically restored. Um, so we can let 3n plus 1, we can let the 3n plus 1 sequence become the 3n plus x sequence, where x is any odd integer. Now these sequences will always have terms 
with the following relationship or can be converted to sequences um, with the following relationship. Um, and uh, there it is. Uh, there, that's the that's the relationship, the same relationship that the three n plus one sequence has. Uh, red arrows going up and black arrows going down. Um, now, what we see here is that um, f f x for for any value for in any integer value of x, um, the 3n plus x sequence will always go to a constant or a cycle. Uh, and here I've got a table of for x equals minus 7 to plus 19. Um, and the table shows a mirror image with a sign reversal about the line of x equals 0. Of course, x has to be odd, but this is the uh, that's a line where there's a mirror image. Um, you can see the cycles, um, they're defined by the value that is closest to zero, and the cycle lengths are in brackets. You can stop the video and look at these in more detail if you want to. Now, the relationship between x and the constants and cycles in the sequence um, is, all, is really not that simple. But as the magnitude of x increases, the sequences continue to go to constants or cycles and never become divergent. Um, but what the NOAC sequence, which I haven't shown here, clearly shows is that as the modulus of x gets very large, new properties will emerge out of the chaos. Um, now, now, this is really one of the most exciting predictions of the NOAC sequence. So, let's see um, what that is. Let S0, S1, S2, all the way to Sn be a sequence generated by the following operators. When Sn is even, uh, Sn plus 1 equals Sn divided by 2. Nothing new there. When Sn is odd, then Sn plus 1 equals 3Sn plus 2,003,000 divided by 2. And S0 is any integer other than when S0 is congruent to 0 mod 2,003,000, which is, well, that's very rare. Then Sn will always go to the 127 cycle. Now, the 127 cycle has a length of 15,126 steps and a maximum value of 48,382,644,622. So the conjecture here is S0 will always go to the same value, which is the 127 cycle, but S0 can be can have infinitely more can be infinitely more integers than the s is s naught for the collis conjecture in the 3n plus 1 sequence so out of the chaos of the 3n plus 1 seek out of the chaos of the 3n plus 1 sequences comes this 3n plus 2 million and 3 sequence which puts the 3n plus 1 sequence to shame Basically, because it it can start with it really can start with almost any integer, both both positive and negative. You just have to eliminate um, the when s zero is uh, congruent to zero mod two million and three. Um, now, look, it's harder to work out but it allows S0 to be almost any integer from minus infinity to plus infinity. Um, now, going to only one cycle is true when the modulus of X has any large value, although the value is different for each, the value that it goes to is different for each value of X. Now, this emergent property I find is absolutely amazing. And this emergent property is something you could not predict from just looking at the 3n plus 1 sequence 
and knowing the collapse conjecture. But as I say, it has not come out of the blue. It is an area that I don't think anybody else has looked at. Why would they look at this? But it is something that the NOAC sequence predicted uh, is likely to emerge when X is as many magnitudes larger than one. Um, look, I'll leave the video here. Uh, there's more to come. Uh, thank you for watching Harold Nowak.